a quick tutorial on pivot tables. Here we have a lot of information. And if we want to find something out of this information using sort and filter, it would take us a long time. But you can, but using pivot tables, it will take us a matter of seconds. So the first thing you want to do when you're looking at a pivot, uh, data set for a pivot table is look to see if there's any blanks. And it seems like we're pretty good here. So uh, click. Next thing to do is you want to click somewhere in the data set. It doesn't matter where. Just click somewhere. And go to the Insert tab. And in the upper left-hand corner, we have Pivot Table. Easily arrange and summarize complex data in a pivot table. So just click on Pivot Table. And the Create Pivot Table dialog box pops up. You notice that um, this is highlighted in gray, and that's because of our, the dancing ants around our data set. We can also choose where we want to place the pivot table. We can put it on a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. If you do an existing worksheet, just click on the, the existing worksheet and click in location and just place anywhere where you want the pivot table to appear, for example. And if you watch right here, when I click, it will populate. But for this example, I want to do a new worksheet. And if you look down in the lower left-hand corner, a new worksheet will populate as soon as I hit OK. And it does. So looking at the pivot table fields, salesperson, company, number of units sold, so on and so on, we want to drag, click and drag into the appropriate uh, areas that we want uh, the field to show up. For example, just looking at the, the fields, I'll look at amount of sale, and looking down here, I probably want amount of sale into values, because we're talking about dollar value. So click on amount of sales, and drag into values. And we get a number over here. Let's look around here a little bit further. Let's go regions, and let's put that into columns. Well, uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know if I like that or not. Let's let's play around with it again. You can drag regions into rows, or you just put it over here, and it goes away. So let's put regions into rows. Okay, I can kind of I can work with that. Let's look at sweatshirt size, and let's put that into filters. Just click and drag. Then we can find out the information that we want for, let's say, small sweatshirts sold in each region. And click OK. And we get this number. But this would be marked wrong because we don't have a dollar amount because we're looking for a dollar amount. So click in the data set, right click, and value field settings. number format in the lower left hand corner and currency and let's say we don't want any decimal points and okay and okay and now we have dollar signs for this information so let's at this point we can um, insert the graph just kind of click everything here highlight everything go to insert and let's pick this right here. And we sold a lot of small sweatshirt size in the West and not too many in the other regions. So just a quick and easy tutorial on pivot tables.